Cushing syndrome is a disorder of endocrine system. It is a cluster of clinical abnormalities caused by excessive levels of adrenocortical hormones, particularly cortisol or related corticosteroids and to lesser extent androgen and aldosterone. So here you can see that as compared to healthy adrenal glands in Cushing syndrome, too much adrenaline is released from the adrenal gland. Cushing syndrome is also called Cushing disease, hypercortisolism, adrenal hyperfunction. The prognosis depends on underlying cause. It's poor in untreated people and in those with untreated ectopic corticotropin producing carcinoma. Causes of Cushing syndrome include first of all excessive ACTH. In approximately 70% of patients, Cushing syndrome results from excessive production of corticotropin and subsequent hyperplasia of adrenal cortex. In remaining 30% of patients, Cushing syndrome results from cortisol secreting adrenal tumor which is usually benign. The clinical features of Cushing syndrome include dorsocervical fat pad, hyperglycemia, muscle atrophy, osteoporosis, easy bruisability, skin atrophy, depression, facial plethora, hypertension, central adiposity, thick violaceous stria. The complications of Cushing syndrome include hypertension, osteoporosis, fractures, stroke, diabetes mellitus, frequent infections, heart attack, and thromboembolism. How is the assessment and diagnosis of Cushing syndrome done? A very important test is that of the dexamethasone suppression test. Dexamethasone 1 mg is administered orally at 11 pm and the plasma cortisol is obtained at 8 am in the next morning. And this is usually the test which confirms the diagnosis of Cushing syndrome. Next is ACTH stimulation test. ACTH or cosyntropin stimulation test measures how well adrenal glands respond to adrenocorticotropin hormones to determine if adrenal and pituitary glands are normal. Next is that of the imaging studies. Ultrasound CT scan or angiography localizes adrenal tumors and may identify the pituitary tumors. Next test is checking electrolyte levels. A patient with Cushing syndrome presents with increase in serum sodium and decrease in potassium level. Next is an increase in blood glucose level. There is a disappearance of lymphoid tissue. Let us discuss the management of Cushing syndrome. Treatment to restore hormonal balance and reverse Cushing syndrome may necessitate radiation, drug therapy or surgery. Patients with pituitary dependent Cushing syndrome with adrenal hyperplasia or severe Cushing guide symptoms such as psychosis, poorly controlled diabetes, mellitus, osteoporosis, may require pituitary irradiations. Next is pharmacologic therapy. Adrenal enzymes inhibitors like ketoconazole, aminoglutathione, metyrapone, mitotain, etomitate may be used to reduce hyperadrenalism if symptoms is caused by ectopic ACTH secretion by a tumor that cannot be eradicated. Now, cortisol therapy is essential during and after surgery to help the patient tolerate the psychological stress imposed by the removal of pituitary or the adrenal. Next is surgical management, which is the removal of adrenal or pituitary gland and that offers a greater success rate for the recovery of the patient. A very important surgery is transphenidal hypophysectomy. It is the treatment of choice if Cushing syndrome is caused by pituitary tumor and has 80% success rate. Adrenalectomy is the treatment of choice in patients with primary adrenal hypertrophy. What factors decrease the risk of injury? First of all, provide a protective environment to prevent falls, fracture and other injuries to bones and soft tissues. Secondly, assist the patient who is weak in ambulating to prevent falls or colliding into furniture. Thirdly, recommend foods high in proteins calcium and vitamin D to minimize muscle wasting in osteoporosis. Now let us talk something about Addisonian crisis. 
also called adrenal insufficiency which is a condition in which adrenal glands particularly the adrenal cortex are deficient in the hormones they produce and release like mineralocorticoid glucocorticoid and androgens in fact the patients with cushing syndrome whose symptoms are treated by withdrawal of the corticosteroid by adrenalectomy or by removal of the pituitary tumor is at risk for adrenal hypofunction and adesonian crisis most cases are patients with known adrenal insufficiency who experience an acute stress event who do not adjust their usual dose of corticosteroid and their body's cortisol stores are quickly depleted leading into adesonian crisis the clinical features of adrenal crisis include hypotension joint pain vomiting loss of consciousness fever confusion and psychosis fatigue back pain hair loss and hypoglycemia so for the management of adrenal crisis we do administration of intravenous fluids to restore plasma volume and exogenous glucocorticoids secondly the normal saline is given iv or im glucocorticoids are given it's because in adrenal crisis there is loss of both mineralocorticoid and glucocorticoid function so thank you so much that was all about cushing syndrome subscribe on obs and gynae and also follow our on obs and gynae facebook page thank you so much allah hafiz